We are on a weather alert on CBS 4 News at 10. Snow stops some drivers in their tracks along I-70. This is a live look from Georgetown. Listen to that wind and watch the snow blow in Frisco. There's plenty of snow. Time to get out the shovels. And from the mountains to the plains, the gusts proved just as strong. And they're shaking the camera near Stratton. Our Michael Abeda talked with a man whose hobby is chasing this wild weather and today did not disappoint. Michael? Yeah, Kathy, Colorado is a great place to see almost all types of weather, except for maybe technically a hurricane. But as you can see, you can experience hurricane force winds, which is what Cody Cooper was after today when he went storm chasing. I'm just a local storm enthusiast. For Cody Cooper from Golden, studying and chasing weather has been a passion for a long time. I've always loved weather ever since I was a little kid and saw Twister. <laughs> so anytime Colorado gets a storm, you can bet he loads up his Golden Colorado Weather Lab and drives right into the heart of the action. Saturday morning was no different. Hey, we went up to Georgetown and we went to uh, go get pictures of the snow and the snow squalls. The weather found him first, though. He had to sit in traffic because blowing snow and ice made the drive a tricky one. It was something else. Um, all the entire right side of Highway 70 going westbound was all up, and the snow was, you know, the snow was coming down at a pretty heavy rate. But eventually he reached Georgetown Lake and armed with his $10 anemometer, got exactly what he was looking for. Wow, man, this is windy. <laughs> a 67 mile per hour gust. He says he'll keep chasing storms in his minivan, I mean weather lab, chronicling Colorado's weirdest and wildest weather. Just not tonight. I'm planning on going home and making a pizza. Uh, <laughs> a nice warm meal after a nice cold day. Now, I-70 westbound was still closed at Georgetown because of the weather. Cody says the key to keeping safe on icy roads is to drive slow. That's pretty good advice. And he also says if his mini man can make it going slow, then anybody can. In Genesee, Michael Aveta covering Colorado first.